Simple 3D basic interface in five minutes. Let's do this. All right, so what we're looking to do today is kind of go over the basics of the Civil 3D interface. So we're just gonna go over the basics of basics and we're gonna go through the whole entire thing here in less than five minutes. You guys will be good to go after this. So first things first is you have the tool space here. And the reason I go over this thing first in Civil 3D is it's the most important thing in Civil 3D right now. It's just everything kind of relates to this. This is how everything works. So on there, you have a few different tabs. You got prospector, settings, survey, and toolbox. Now, at any point in time, if any of these are missing or this is gone, you'll see it at the home tab here. Just click on tool space. And if any of them are missing, you'll see the buttons for those missing buttons right there up in the top left hand corner. So this is where you can turn them back on and off. Technically, I leave them all on, um, although I did just jack up the order of them a little bit, but that's OK. All right. So usually I like survey above toolbox, but whatever, it doesn't make a difference. So we have that. So this is the tool space. Now, also, we have the second most important space, which is model space. You should have probably already know this already. But right now, you'll notice we are on the model space tab. Also, you'll notice the command line here at the bottom. Um, probably the second most important thing in Civil 3D is the command line. If you're using dynamic input, that's great too. Just note, it has to be turned on. So if you look here in the bottom right hand corner, you'll notice that it is not currently even offered. But if you click this little button, you'll see a little thing pop up. You're kind of getting hidden from it right now. But under there, you're going to look for something called dynamic input. And it's there. I promise it's there. And when you give it a click, you'll see this button here pop up right there. And if you turn that on, then anything you do kind of appears next to the command line. So that will save you some time. That's been new for a while now, but you know, some of the old school users, maybe you didn't know that existed. Well, there it is now. All right. So let's see what other spaces we have in Civil 3D. All right. So right in the top corner here, you'll see this big A. That's the applications menu. By clicking on that, you'll notice you'll see a slew of different things pop out. Um, this is where you find your most current drawings, your save, your prints, your exports, stuff like that. Um, a lot of stuff is in here, including like fixing your drawings and stuff like that. It's all right here as well. So just note, applications menu. This right here is known as the quick access toolbar. And uh, this thing here, you can pretty much do a lot of different things with, but mostly it's for new, open, save, print, redo and undo. And then as well as you have the workspace settings here, which will change your workspace depending on if you want to work in a civil 3D environment a drafting and a rotation environment, which is basically basic AutoCAD, a 3D modeling environment for those people who want to work with solids, meshes, and 3D objects, and of course, planning and analysis, which is more of a mapping GIS environment. All right, so we also have the ribbon tabs, which are home, insert, inner, annotate, modify, all that fun stuff, which are made up of ribbon panels, which are located right here. So also, just one thing to note, if you hover over a command for a brief period of time, unless it's disabled, it may be disabled sometimes, it'll bring up a tool tip, which will kind of show you kind of a little brief explanation of what the tool does. All right, so that's pretty much all we have here. Up in the top hand corner here, we have the info center. It's not really too crucial, but it's up there. Um, you'll see I'm logged in currently. Um, also, you'll see, you know, things like the status bar here, which is down here. Note the status bar can be consolidated or fully opened. Again, this little three line button right here, if you click on it, it says customization. You'll see if you click there, you'll see a whole long list of stuff open up. And that's how you'll get more icons down here. I usually leave everything down here off personally, except for the hardware accelerator, which is currently sitting on. So that is the Civil 3D interface. Just real quick five minute intro to it. So again, please hit that like button and subscribe. I'm just gonna keep rolling out these videos in five minute increments, makes it easy to find whatever you want. And if you ever want a video on something else or you just can't figure some out, please post it in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.